-hmm. What are your thoughts about the reason why the uh, ancient intelligences of plant medicines were banned was due to their uh, their catalyzing of feelings of unity which would sacrifice mm -hmm. the economic uh, mm -hmm. yeah absolutely I mean there's like so many trails to go down there one I think it's the suppression of the feminine and like um, the hyper masculine culture that has basically said like the natural world is there for us to dominate and when there's plants talking to you or talking to a culture, an indigenous culture, saying, hey, you're part of everything, um, it's not a really popular way of seeing or being when you're in a system that needs to dominate. So I think that's like the primary unconscious thing that's happening. And then there's the next layer, which is here are like religions or practices that the indigenous people were doing. And if we can take away their um, culture and their practices and and make that wrong then we have the upper hand you know and so there is the religious freedoms act so there's things like the you know the Native American church that can that can work with peyote or San Pedro um, or there's the UDV or there's the, you know there's there's practices where you can work with ayahuasca in the US um, within the religious freedoms act so that's like one safeguard that these plants have but for a long time, I think that was a big piece of the suppression is that um, it's about culture and suppression of the feminine. And then beyond that, it's like if there's um, substances that are legal that we can tax and we can get people hooked on, then that's a really great formula. Or if there's substances that we can make illegal and we can get people hooked on them and then send them to jail because we're trying to take a certain population and keep them out of the power structure, um, those are really good means to controlling a society. So you've got alcohol, highly addictive, tobacco, highly addictive, and taxable. And so that's a really good reason why a government might want to keep that, those two industries really strong. And then you've got things like heroin or cocaine. And as a government, you might want to keep those strong so that you can choose populations that you want to keep out of society and send them to jail. Whereas, so. I mean, I'm giving you kind of a broad... I love it. Keep going. And then you've got psychedelics, which, which are actually like a liberation of the psyche yeah. and aren't addictive in the same ways. And so, you know, like those are the ones that you want to put into Schedule 1, say that they have no healing value, and, um, and, and there you have it because it, it breaks down the system of your control. Whoa.